former Republican Attorney General of Virginia and Ted Cruz surrogate Ken Cuccinelli. Ken, it's nice to see you. And we have Virginia on paper. States where Ted Cruz should perform pretty well, as it is a, a, a delegate rich state, not as rich as, as Texas. But right. when you think about it, and the polls have demonstrated the evangelical vote going to Donald Trump. Why do you think that is when it should be going to Ted Cruz? Uh, well, <clears throat> what Ted is winning is the young vote, uh, the millennial vote, uh, as well as the conservative vote. And that's really the focus of our campaign. You, you categorize evangelicals. There are people who worship one way, but they believe in a strong economy, uh, strong uh, military and so forth. So it's an oversimplification to look at them that way. And Ted has been dealing with all the issues that people care about. Your reporter there, Halley, just noted while Trump and Rubio are having this you wet your pants and you sweat too much kind of exchange uh, Ted Cruz is over there saying Donald Trump has a liberal health care plan he hasn't supported amnesty until this campaign while Ted Cruz was fighting against amnesty in the in the Senate that history that conservative history matches Ted's conservative vision he is the only candidate of the three remaining at the top tier that can say that and so we're going after after conservative voters in all these states, whether it's Virginia or Texas and everywhere in between, plus Vermont and Massachusetts. And that message is really resonating. The, there are a lot of people who are fed up with the food fight between Rubio and Trump, and we're trying to stay very focused on the issues that affect people's lives. And every one of them, Ted, has a solid track record that he can point to. So when we look at the delegate count, it's 49 GOP delegates at stake here. It's not a winner-take-all state right. of Virginia. And when we think about uh, how the state is made up with active military, veterans, uh, wealthier beach communities, even the more urban communities, uh, do you feel confident that Ted Cruz can pick up delegates here? Absolutely. Absolutely. We will be competitive in Virginia. We will pick up delegates here, um, and it's going to be part of our total. Uh, I believe the outcome is going to be just what you heard Senator Cruz talking about, is we're going to pull away on the delegate front from Marco Rubio. We're going to make it very clear that the alternative to Donald Trump is Ted Cruz. And, of course, right now we're the only campaign who's won a state other than Donald Trump, and you can't win without winning states. And Texas is tomorrow. The people who know Senator Cruz the best are going to give him Texas tomorrow. And the people who know Senator Rubio the best are going to deny him Florida in two weeks. He's getting killed, killed in every poll. And the simple reason is they both ran to go to Washington, oppose the establishment, and limit government. Well, Marco Rubio went and joined the establishment, most famously with the Gang of Eight bill. Ted Cruz actually fought them to the point where, frankly, the Mitch McConnells and many of the people with the leadership don't appreciate Ted so much. But he did what he said Ted, he was going to do. And Well, let me finish this point. And the people of Texas appreciate that. And the people of Florida, as it relates to Marco Rubio, judge it very differently. So, Ken, let me play for you, though, something Ted Cruz had to say. I know you mentioned the food fight between yeah. Rubio and Trump, but this is how Ted Cruz talked about Donald Trump. Well, there have been multiple media reports about Donald's business dealings with the mob, with the mafia. Maybe his tax, taxes show those business dealings are a lot more extensive than has been reported. As a former attorney general of Florida and a Ted Cruz surrogate, is this a, a wise strategy for him to make an assertion like that about Trump's taxes? Yeah, well, of course, he asked a question there, and the point was that to ask the question, to ask a question. And the, the reason this issue is important goes beyond whatever Donald may report in his taxes. It goes to the point that Republicans have been case against against Hillary Clinton, politically, of course, that she has been hiding things. Democrats don't trust her. She's hiding emails. She won't release her, pu her paid-for speeches. No, but Ken, this is more specifically about Donald well, Trump. Well, I, I understand that, but this is... With the mob, but as a former attorney that general was a question, the state of Virginia... Yeah, that was a question that he posed. What is Donald hiding? Why won't he release them? Surely there must be a reason. And he's drawing on old news reports, but that it's totally speculative, and he phrases it that way. He's not making an accusation. But if that's going to be out there, what do you think Hillary Clinton is going to do with that? You know, he will not, Donald Trump will not be able to prosecute the case for distrust and a lack of openness against Hillary Clinton while he has this tax issue outstanding.
Ken Cuccinelli, who was a former uh, Republican Attorney General for Virginia, and uh, Cruz surrogate. Sir, great to see you. Thanks for your time.